What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about my greatest Elder Scrolls Online tip. I'm constantly asked what is if I could give one tip to a new player or to a returning player or to a console player or to a PC player, what would it be? And that is this tip today. It requires a little bit of preamble, but honestly, I think it is probably the best tip that you could have, especially if you're trying to get into mid to end game content and you're really trying to mid max your ability to play ESO. I promise I won't blue ball you for long, uh, but before we jump into the video, if you don't mind liking and subscribing for every new subscriber this video gets, I will pet my cat who is just off screen here below us, uh, but I'm sure she will join us uh, during much of your time. I think that there's definitely an allure to these one bar builds. I think the developers have been so keen on it that they even created the item, the Oaken Soul Ring, to kind of pick up on players' desire to use one bar builds. Why is that? I think it's just because bar swapping sucks. So you have your controller, and it can be notoriously exceptionally difficult to actually bar swap with your controller. Um, especially if you are trying to, in a PvP situation, try to actually utilize both the left thumbstick, which is you know how you move, uh, you need to use it to dodge, um, you know important things like that, you know that can be very critical. To take your finger off the left thumbstick can be traditionally very difficult. So my greatest tip to you is actually to just button map your bar swap to the right thumbstick. And obviously this is a flipped camera view, but you can now move both the thumbsticks at once and bar swap and be in movement. You can be midair running and jumping and bar swapping. And why I think this is such a helpful tip is, is one of the most common requests I get on my videos is Jake, make a one bar build for this. Make a one bar build for that. Hey, can you help me do a oh, tiered list for one bar builds? I think one bar builds are exceptionally cool. I think they're very easy to get into. I think the rotations are relatively straightforward because obviously it's not just the bar swapping piece that alone, it's sometimes it's having access to, you know, a 50 bajillion skills that you have to, you know, attack weave through. It could be very tricky, but especially if you're in PVP, you really want access to more skills. Now, you guys requested an intro to PVP series. I'll talk about more about the specifics of why you need more skills versus less um, when we go into that, especially because sometimes just having multiple weapons can be helpful, like having a defensive back bar versus an offensive front bar. You know, you're not going to be able to do that. In fact, that's what this character here has. He has a defensive back bar where he's able to utilize access to skills that keep him alive. And then a front bar, it's a straight DPS bar. Now I have my skill bar hidden, but just trust me, there's... There's a lot of uh, DPS on the front bar and on the back bar. There's a lot of, please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Get me the fuck out of here. Uh, so that's the difference. And that's why it's helpful. If I only had one bar, I'd have to combine these two together. You might think to yourself, okay, Jake, you've convinced me. I'll play with two bars. I'll utilize both back bars. I, I'll, I'll do it. What do I need to do? Do I head down to the options menu? And it's actually a little bit more complicated than that. And I think this is why many people don't suggest it, but basically you're going to want to go to your settings and then you're going to want to go down to devices and go to controllers, um, accessories into controllers. And you're going to basically make an Xbox wireless controller preset for ESO. Now this is actually relatively straightforward. All you have to do is click the pen icon and you are able to create different button maps. You can see mine already has the right thumb stick to left on D pad. Um, that is my general best suggestion for you. And then once you have that, you just select it as your main profile um, that you are able to access up here. Uh, so once you do that, you'll know you've done it correctly because when you back out, this will this is what it will show you. And as a further test, you can see that I can scroll through the right thumbstick um, and not on the D-pad. And just means that your D-pad is going to be what you use to go to crouch. However, you're not usually in as many life and death situations uh, where you need to go into sneak immediately versus where you're like, hey, being able to bar swap with my right dominant hand would be significantly more helpful. Now, you might think to yourself, Jake, I'm a PC player. I spent 5,000 bajillion dollars on this PC. This doesn't help me. I don't play with a controller. Well, dear friend, if you play with an overtly expensive uh, device, you probably have a mouse that and this is not an overtly expensive uh, mouse uh, that has a button on the side. What I would suggest is if you are playing with your dominant hand, use the button on the side. You can also consider using the right um, clicker 
as well. There's people that use all sorts of different button arrays. What I would suggest is just consider tweaking it because the reason that so many people are drawn to these one bar builds is because they don't like bar swapping and they like the simplistic usage of their one bar build. And I think that there's definitely places for that. However, especially as we're going into our intro to PVP series and we're talking about how to mid-max yourself, generally you really want to at least be able to be able to utilize those two bar builds just because you really want access to all those skills. I mean, it gives you access to damage over times, executions, heals, movement speed. It gives you access to resource collection. It gives you access to shields. Gives you access to things that just give you 5% damage taken reduction. It gives you access to a powerful ultimate. You know, having access to more skills, in my opinion, is always better. And even with the Oaken Soul Ring now giving you a ton, an absolute ton of stats, I just do not think that it compares overall. But what do you guys think? Are you guys really one bar supporters? Do you like to be able to bar swap? I'm not, and I don't want to say this, I'm not an anti. Anyone that uses Oak and Soul Ring is a gobbledygook, silly billy, absolute zergling gobbledygooker. You know, I don't believe that. I'm not one of those people. However, I do see how many comments I get, and I do draw a little bit of a conclusion that people just don't like to bar swap. So I hope that this tip was helpful, and it is my greatest tip that has kind of helped myself get better at ESO. It's helped my friends get better at ESO, you know, to the best of their ability, to the best of my ability. There's, a weird, there's definitely a cap for us, but I do love this tip. Hope this was helpful. And as a quick reminder, again, if you don't remember, don't mind you know feel free to like and subscribe but we are doing our giveaway drawings the month is just about to end however don't fret if it's the next month because we, we do it every month so the month of march we're doing three giveaway drawings one is a random subscriber every subscriber is drawn equally regardless of if you subscribed a year ago or yesterday the second one is going to be a random comment every comment is counted equally so you can leave as many comments as you want just Please don't get your comments uh, marked as spam, ideally. That makes it easier for me, uh, so I don't have to go and manually review them. And the third one is the funniest comment, although I might switch this in the month of April to the uh, comment that I liked the most because there were some really nice heartfelt comments in the comments, and I was like, damn, that's a really nice comment. So, man, I might switch it up for the month of April, so stay tuned for that. But for the month of March, keeping true to my word, we are doing the funniest comment will be the third giveaway drawing. So... That is going to wrap up the old video then. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Will you do this as a question of the day? Will you give it the old Texas try? Will you give it a shot? And uh, I'll catch you guys there. Bye, guys. Subscribe to Jake Clips. Oh, you should. I might have to pluck your eyes if you don't. Or, better yet, I'll skip rope with your entrails. Do it now. Subscribe. Ta-ta. Off with you. Post-outro. I don't know what my cat was doing in this video. She's now laying in front of me, just chirping up a storm. You guys may have heard her earlier, just screaming from the other side of the room, wanting attention. So if you heard cat noises during this video, uh, I apologize. Um, she's very antsy. I was wishing she would come in the video a little bit, but uh, she did not. So I uh, tried my best, but uh, not as much cat content secretly throughout this video. But uh, thanks for staying around through the post outro, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.